Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men Network with the guy S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Thank you to all subscribers. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Most importantly, hit the like button. That's free, y'all. Hit the like button. A shout out to Jay Williams, the former Duke University basketball star, the former NBA player. His career ended abruptly, ended short in the NBA because of a motorcycle accident he endured. But I think he would have been one of the greats. He is currently an ESPN analyst, um, I think a color commentator also. And this brother has stood up and stood next to uh, Kyrie Irving. And I respect it. I respect it. But he gave a, a eloquent, an eloquent uh, speech. And before he got into it, he prefaced it with, I may get fired for, for this. I may get fired for saying this, but I don't care. Brothers, when you get to a point where you accept things may not go in your favor, when you really surrender to your higher self, when you sacrifice your lower self, your ego, when you get to that point and you say, this may not go the way my carnal self wants it to go, the way my ego wants it to go, the way my flesh wants it to go, but it's going to go in my favor on another level. On the high end, it's going to be in my favor. When you release and sacrifice your lower self to your higher self, man, you have so much peace of mind. People won't understand your vibration, your frequency. They won't understand your perspective why you're moving the way you're moving, why you're making the decisions you're making, because you're on a different stratosphere. And I've been there. I've been there where I was stressing over a potential outcome. And I mean stressing. And one day I said, I surrender. The worst on the physical level may happen. This may go against me. The outcome may not be in my favor, but I'm okay. I'm going to be all right. I released it, man. I released it to my God consciousness, my higher self. And I, <clears throat> and I sacrificed my flesh, my lower self, my ego. And I know most people think the ego solely means uh we value or we have this this grand uh perspective or this grand outlook about ourselves uh, you know huge self esteem uh huge uh self worth and that's a part of the ego or can be but the ego also is a mediator between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind it's a mediator and when you worry, when you stress, that's the ego. That's the ego trying to mediate and decipher, man, which way to go, which way to go, right? It's not hot. It's not cold. It's lukewarm. It's trying to decide which way to go. And so you got to remove that ego and you got to release your lower self. You got to sacrifice your lower self and consciously choose your suffering for the better good, knowing regardless of how things work out, I'm going to win at the end. And that's what the brother Jay Williams did. And I respect it. And if you have not experienced that feeling, you're really missing out. Once you experience that feeling and give up fear, release the ego, man, you can do anything. You can face any challenge. And you just have a totally different perspective about it, man. You have no fear in this life. And people won't understand you. A lot of people won't. You know, you're not alone out there. You know, there's a lot of people that vibrate on that frequency. But a lot of people would not understand you. They'll call you crazy, call you stupid. They, will, they just won't understand you. And it's not their fault. 
they're just not there yet. And at one time you were not there. So, you know, you can't judge those people, but a lot of respect to Jay Williams. And I encourage all you guys, man, step out on faith, stand on what you believe in, um, go against the grain. If your heart, if your heart says, this is the way to go, let your heart lead you. Yeah. Let your heart lead you on which way to go. And, uh, you can't be fearful. You can't be fearful. The more you fight back, the more you fight your ego, release your ego, sacrifice your ego, the easier it becomes and the more powerful you become. And so just try it, man. Just try it out. But when that brother said, I might get fired for this, but I don't care. I knew what level he was at, man. It reminded me. It took me to a place I was at. And uh, I said, yeah, that brother's on a different level. And I don't think he'll get fired. You know, I don't think he'll get fired. But if he did get fired, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. But I see a lot of people going against the brother Kyrie because they hadn't gotten to that point to say, I don't care what happens. This is what my heart is telling me to do. They hadn't reached that point. And like I say, you can't judge them because we have all not been there. Well, we have all been there where they're at. And uh, everybody doesn't reach the same phase, the same level or stage in life at the same time. So that's okay. You know, life, earth is a school for learning and teaching. Karma is not to punish us, it's to teach us. This is what it's all about, man, learning and teaching. And uh, this is a learning moment. It's a learning moment. As always, from me to you, toasters, love, peace.